Hey guys, MK Kai here back with another video and in this video I'm gonna be comparing the OnePlus 3T versus the LG V20. The 3T is not released yet while the V20 came out in the October of 2016. In this video I'm gonna be talking about the new features in both handsets so yeah let's get into the video. Starting off with the design we are gonna have fully aluminium build on the OnePlus 3T from sides to back all aluminium. While on the V20 the phone does not have fully aluminium body but the sides and the back is made out of metal. And the good thing the back on the V20 is removable and so does the battery while on the OnePlus 3T the back is non removable. Coming to the screen size the OnePlus 3T comes with 5.5 inch display versus we have 5.7 inch display on the LG V20 and that's why it's more taller and wider than the OnePlus 3T. As for the thickness both handsets are pretty much the same. We're gonna have capacitive touch buttons on the OnePlus 3T and a fingerprint scanner is embedded in the front home button which is a capacitive button not a pressable button. While on the V20 the phone comes with on screen buttons and the fingerprint scanner is located at the back side of the phone. As for the water protection both handsets does not have any kind of water protection so maybe they're not gonna survive a full dip into the water. Both handsets comes with USB type C connector and as for the dual sim support both handsets does not support two sim cards at the same time. Yeah in some countries like Indonesia the V20 does support two SIM cards but in most of the countries it does not. So yeah. Coming to the display we are gonna have 5.5 inch AMOLED screen on the OnePlus 3T while the V20 comes with 5.7 inch IPS LCD display. As for the resolution we are gonna have 1920 by 1080p screen on the OnePlus 3T while the V20 comes with higher resolution 2560 by 1440p Quad HD screen meaning the pixel density is much higher on the V20. The V20 also comes with secondary screen which is on top of its main display which provides a quick shortcut for switches like Wi-Fi and Flash and you can also open some applications too. It's also gonna let you see time and date when the phone is locked. As for the operating system, the V20 comes with Android 7.0 Nougat while the OnePlus 3T is gonna be coming with Android 6.0 Marshmallow and running OnePlus Oxygen OS while the V20 have LG's UX UI 5.0. And at last, both handsets comes with Gorilla Glass protection on their screens. As for the camera, we have a dual lens camera on the LG V20 with 16 megapixels main sensor with aperture f1.8 while the OnePlus 3T comes with single lens camera with 16 megapixels main sensor with aperture f2.0 the secondary sensor on the V20 is a 8 megapixels sensor which is a wide angle 135 degree lens for super wide angle shots the V20 comes with larger camera sensor size means larger pixels mean better low light performance than the OnePlus 3T. The V20 uses laser out focus for refocusing while the OnePlus 3T uses phase detection for that. And as for the image stabilization both handsets comes with optical image stabilization technology. As for the video recording both handsets can record 2160p 4K videos at 30 frames per second while as for the slow motion videos both handsets can record 720p videos at 100 and 20 frames per second. Coming to the front camera, we are gonna have 16 megapixels front camera with aperture f2.0 on the OnePlus 3T, while the V20 comes with 5 megapixels selfie camera with aperture f1.9. The front camera on the V20 is again a wide angle 120 degree lens for super wide angle selfies. Coming to the performance, we're gonna have new Snapdragon 821 chipset on the OnePlus 3T while the V20 comes with Snapdragon 820. So the OnePlus 3T have higher clocked CPU inside. And as for the RAM, the 3T is coming with 6GB of RAM versus we have 4GB of RAM on the LG V20. As for the storage options, the V20 comes in 32 and 64GB variants while the OnePlus 3T comes in 64 and 128GB variants. But we can extend the storage on the V20 with a microSD card while on the OnePlus 3T the phone does not support a microSD card. At last, on the battery side, the OnePlus 3T comes with 3400mAh battery which is non-removable while the V20 comes with 3200 mAh battery which is removable by the way. As for the quick charge we're gonna have dash charge technology on the OnePlus 3T while on the V20 the phone comes with quick charge 310 by Qualcomm. So that's it for this video guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.